I have the power to do this because I am the illegitimate love child of Uncle Kakabushi. <laughs> to all of you, I have to say just one thing, one thing only you sinners so you can understand and believe. <laughs> Would you like some pills? <laughs> Come on, help a guy out! Yeah, some pills. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Come in with us. No! You'll never take me alive, do it! <laughs> I will be a bitch! By the power of Grace Gold, Grace Gold compels you. <laughs> Hey, uh, we are a tough act to follow after that little bit out in the, uh, <laughs> the lobby from what I understand. Hi everyone, welcome to Funday Pop It Show Live! Thank you very much for coming out this afternoon. Hope everyone has having a good time here at Megaplex. How are you? How do you show you're having a good time? Applause! Yeah. So, we've got a few fun things planned for you this afternoon. We're gonna have a, we're gonna do some interviews, we're gonna play some games, we got some prizes for you as well, and a lot of happy chaos. And of course, all of this is completely unrehearsed, so you get to watch us crash and burn live. How many people, is this the very first time you've ever seen a Fun Day Pompet show at all? Some virgins in the audience. We need to pop some cherries. Who are you? Scream your name out if you are the first time here. Go ahead.
Okay, how many? Now show him your love. How many people touched Blitz this weekend? germs the entire convention has. Oh, you are the con crud. So he's con crud central. <laughs> What's the most creative way someone has touched you so far? What? What's the most creative way someone has we touched you so that. far? There hasn't been anything super creative yet. Yet. Yeah. yeah. You know what we could do? Way. You know what we could do? We could see if a few people could pick up Uncle Kage and touch Blitz with Uncle Kage. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we're just joking. But uh, yeah, no, Blitz has, been, Blitz has been touched by many, many people. How many people have touched Blitz? That's impressive. How many people want to touch Blitz? So uh, where do people usually touch you when they touch you? They poke your belly? Where do they touch you, Blitz? Where, where do they touch you, Blitz? I don't want to say. Do they, you don't want to say? Touch your elbow? Do they poke you in your shoulder? Do they poke you in your prostrate? Where do you get poked? I'm just asking. Just asking. <laughs> All of the above. They just find the squishy spot and poke it. Poke it. So sore. You're sore? Oh, no, people don't. interviews we would love to uh, do. Uh, Mr. Ezra, yeah. by any chance, is our guest of honor at this convention going to be um, up for an interview? Well, well let's see. Mr. Chad Kruger, are you in the audience? Come on up here, Chad. Chad Kruger. And Blitz, you come up here too. You're going to help interview Mr. Kruger here. What? Come on up here. I'm trying to get some position. You're trying to get positioned? Somebody touch Blitz again! Hold on, here he comes. Hold on, Chad. So, Chad, do you know, do you know, have you ever met Blitz before? Oh, uh, yes. You have. Do we have a microphone for him? Yeah. What was that? We're making sure your microphone is up. Back bar! A microphone. Hooray! Rummage, stop poking the sun! That's what do you do with them? <laughs> Wait a minute, don't answer that question. <laughs> the sign I've ever seen in my life, so hooray. There we go. There. All right, so everybody, this is Chad Kruger. He is the guest of honor of Megaflex 2011. <laughs> Thank you. How many people commissioned Chad for a piece of artwork this weekend? <laughs> Thank you. How many people want to commission Chad? I think you got some fans, Chad. Thank you very much. So why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Montana State. State of uh, Montana? Yes, the state of Montana. Not necessarily a city. Uh, I live way out of the country, so it's good. It's good. There's and lots of animals out there. I love it. Very cool. And uh, who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> Ooh, well, um, yeah, that's a good question. Scientist. Scientist? Sure. Oh, so it's all Kage. <laughs> Science is good. Science is good. Blitz, oh, Blitz is up top. Yes. Yeah. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Blitz was asking, how many letters does your dad have in his science? Oh, uh, many. Many? I can't even count right now. Oh, because Kagi has PhD. Did you well, know that's one of two. Oh, he has two? Yeah. You should have said, oh, no, he's got four. He has two degrees. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, so you've done a lot of art. Your uh, your favorite character, your primary character is Camo, correct? Yes. Can you tell everybody a little about it? Which Camo means duck in Japanese. Very good. Cool. Where did that come from? That was awesome. That was in our minds. <laughs> <laughs> so my duck is Camo. Yes. Yes. And uh, for those that weren't at the Meet the Guest of Honor panel, do you first suit? I sometimes do, but I didn't bring my suit here, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Now, can you stand up for everybody for just a second? You are one tall guy. <laughs> Holy six foot six. Holy smoke. I am one little short doggy, but you are a super tall guy. Yeah, where's your beat star, dude? I'm taller than you. <laughs> where's your beat star, dude? I'm up here. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of Megaplex? 
what do I do otherwise? I like to snowboard. That's one of my favorite passions. 21 years of doing it. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it. Cool. I work, uh, I do some cattle work. I'm a ranch hand, believe it or not. Okay. So, and uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Green. And uh, boxers or briefs? <laughs> what was that? Boxers or briefs? Oh, uh, briefs. Briefs? Yes. Yeah. Coke Ruben! Coke. Oh, no. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Neither. Neither? Coffee. Would, you, would you coffee? It's all about the coffee. It's all about the coffee. You know what? Wine is good too. I like wine. Cool. Beer. And um, what is your favorite cartoon character? Oh. Did you say no to the Zoomies? Who was it? I'm going to say Daffy Duck. Was that Daffy Duck? No. More ponies? What was it? I heard something in the audience. Bronies or ponies? How about nonies? I, I also have nonies because I have little short stubby paws. I they just go straight from my shoulder to my paw. <laughs> no knees. <laughs> boom, boom. There we go. Yeah. And um, I'll ask you just two more questions. And then uh, if you could be anything in the world, what would you want to be? Who would I want to be? How about fabulously rich? Fabulously rich. And what would you do if you were fabulously rich? I would buy many cool cars. Cars? Lots of cars. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, um, do you have any questions for the Pophead show? Hmm. Boxers or briefs? Boxers or briefs? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Anything else you want to know? What time is dinner? What time is it there? <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, it's covered by fur. We've got to get the dinner. When when is dinner? Oh, when is dinner? Yes. Anybody want to order pizza? Exactly. Yes. And you're buying. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna eat tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, my goggles fell off. I got them down here. Oh. That's what. What? Blitz is playing with my goggles. Uh, finally, could you give everyone some wonderful words to live by? Some wonderful words to live by. I think you should be yourself and be happy and do what you can to do that, to achieve those things. Very good advice. All right, well, everyone, big, big round of applause. Make a place 2011's guest of honor, Chad Kruger. Thank you so much, Chad. Go hang around. We'll have a lot more fun tonight, okay? Yes. All right, thanks so much. All right, hey, Mutt. Hello. We finished our interview. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I think we might have a, a little challenge or two for people to do. A we? challenge? A challenge. You know, are you lifting weights? I think people are up for a pop pet challenge. Are you guys up for a pop pet challenge? Yeah. All right, well, we have a lovely, uh, a wonderful and very attractive Vanna White here. So, Vanna, please stand up if you would be so kind. <laughs> Um, help us out with this one, thank you very much. We need 10 volunteers from the audience. 10 volunteers, raise your hand and Skippy will pick you out. I volunteer. <laughs> what? I can volunteer. I can volunteer. Can you volunteer? Yeah, I'll volunteer. I don't know, can you, can you, how are you at that time? I love the idea, but maybe I live in a way. We're going to do this for our friends in the audience, because this is our chance for them to interact. Oh, interacting who? <laughs> All right, so yes, uh, Vanna White, do we have our 10 audience participants? We do. We do. Very good. All right. Over to my left, your right, you will see 10 cups on the stage. Please, everyone, go and get one of these 10 cups and hold it in your hand. And then walk back to the center of the front of the stage so everyone out there can see you. Oh, Mr. Sound Guy, if we can get some kind of a background music going, something instrumental and fun and bouncy, that would be most cute. Eagle Beagle, ladies and gentlemen, running our soundboard. We got a little monitor. This is the way uh, the, all these little guys running around downstairs can see you guys. So, very cool, very cool. All right, so 
So this is our challenge. It's called the Listerine Challenge. We did this one time about 10 years ago. It was a big hit. You've got a full mouthful of pure old school Listerine in your cup. On the count of three, you're going to chuck it all down. And the last person to spit their Listerine back into the cup wins one of our personally autographed and very rare Monday Pawpet Show posters. <laughs> I don't know what the posters are. I believe they are on over by UV. Do you want to do the Rasbar? Rasbar, flash your belly for him! 
<laughs> you know, working this thing is a blast. So it's a weird thing. What do you have in your bed that makes it so weird to see there, Point? Oh, I've got my pillow, my Game Boy, my Japanese love doll. <laughs> and you know the weirdest thing? Yeah. I've got this vanity that I just can't get rid of. You know, kind of easy. Okay, so you just points you thought they were both done by the same puppeteer. Oh my god! My sweet number? Yeah. I didn't stay at the hotel. No. No, my bed at home. <laughs> Can you turn him over? Oh. oh. You want to see inflatable paws? Yes. <laughs> wow. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. They're turning him over as we speak. Those are some big puppy paws. Okay, Blitz, let him. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> ah! Oh, and here's a dog. <laughs> this whole stage is gonna fall the way he's going in. These guys swam a lot better than half the people that were in that pool. Wow. <laughs> they were able to stay afloat. All those cannonballs that kept dropping in the pool, I think the pool drank by about three inches from all the splash over. But people had a good time. How about, how about uh, Mr. Blitz, who was just licking paws? What's the weirdest thing you've seen here? It looks like they're having a standoff. They're about to fight. I wonder who's They're having a blinking contest. Let's see who wins. <laughs> We're seeing this back here in shadows, and it looks even worse. No. Well, it looks even better. Thanks, no. 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 decided to be very... Yeah. They're yeah. <laughs> and it was like a B-rated monster thing, creature. So like they unplugged the freezer. Yes. And, and there was the corn room. dogs in there. And they left it in the garage. That's the entire time. Yeah. So there was like a green giant monster inside the freezer. Did you pet it? <laughs> no, but mine got cut by it. What, Weeun, are you here? Weeun? No, he must not be. I guess not. He's smart. He got attacked by a monster and got cut. It was bad. And that was the scariest thing I've seen. Hey, God. What's your name? Scary. Alright, so I can stick into your soul. Who wants to play another game? It's game time. Oh, Vanna. Could we please get three um, volunteers from the audience? What game is this? Let me do the charades game. Okay. In that ever so special way right. that only we can do. Charades? Yes. So Skippy, you will come up with three words, give one word to each of our contestants, and they have to perform in a way that our audience will get it. Now, if you are in the audience and you get it, you'll win. Hey, honey, I'll bet you now, as opposed to the traditional way to play the charades, we're going to do it slightly different. These people have to spell the word with their butt. Yeah. So you have to turn around and try to spell the word in the air with your butt. The audience has to guess what that word is. And if you get the word, yell it out, and Vanna will hear it and then give you the word. All right, are we clear on the rules? All right. And Vanna? I was like, Skippy, I'm going to have the whole night. Skippy, are we ready for our first contestant to perform? Is it going to come 
back here. Yeah, Harry, he's, on right. the, he's now on the stage, right here. Oh, it's the groom. It's the groom. It's the groom? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, cool, okay. So, please come to the center of the stage, sir. And you have your word? All right, excellent. So, turn around, and then count three. Start to spell your word letter by letter. One, two, three.
I believe you have a bit of a present for one of our guests. Is that true? Yes, yes. It is? Well, why don't you come on up here and be a little Santa Claus in July? And uh, give Point his present. No, I only really started at 11 this morning. The more you drink... What time is it now? The more you drink, the better I look. Oh, yeah. That's the way it goes. <sighs> All right. Oh, hi, Poinka. Oh. Poinka, my oh. darling friend, gives a kiss. I know. Oh, wow. I love you, too. I bought you a present. <gasps> For me? For you. For what? you. I was taken by some dear friends to a, a little tiny store called Total Wine. Oh, you lucky to thing. And when I was in there, I happened to see something. Uh, I don't know if you like tequila or not. Oh, you do. Excellent, excellent. I don't know why I thought of you. Let me let me reach in my, my little magic box here, but excuse me. I, there, we go, there we go. I saw this and I said, I need to get this for point. Because I don't know if he likes tequila or not, but this this just was screaming point at me. When I saw it, I was just listening and I was hearing boy, boy, boy. This is extremely high class tequila. This this cost a dollar fifty. Plus tax. So I thought that, you know. I don't know where it's been. Hey, po hey, point, point, point. Yeah. When you open that, are you gonna let the genie out of the bottle? I already did. <laughs> Backstage is a mess. Oh, I've always wanted to do this. Hang on. Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> My God, Tommy, I know you've always wanted to give me this. Well, I just, I, it was an impulse buy. I saw it and it just immediately it flashed into my mind. You and that. Together, enjoying an evening. Uh, well, help me, help me. Uh -huh. Doc, <laughs> let me put it this way. I'll take this for a second. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's an honor that you did that for me. And just because I love you and my crowd here, I'm going to let you give it to me the way you've always wanted to. Woo! Uh, All right, here we go. This is a film. So, wow, I took the whole thing. Randy, Randy. We can't let the audience see. Here, let me to hold your, 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 okay. I I'll just, I'll just hold you there. Okay, okay. and... Okay, breathe, breathe, deep, oh. deep, deep. It burns! It's tequila! It freezes! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, I felt that, Jesus! Well, I felt the worm! I got a static shock off you just now. Wow! Hey, you hey, point, you got a worm hanging out of your nose. Hang on. That's the magic. See what your temperature is here. And so like, oh, wow. You know, 106. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Put that right back in. There you go. Some, somebody also gave me something when I went to sit back in my chair. There was something in my chair, and I haven't opened it. I think this is a present for me. So I thought, uh oh. For who? I said, oh dear. From who? Is this against con policy? Yes. Yes. Oh, wait, look, it gets longer. <laughs> so do I if you rub me the right way. Security! Security! Who wants to see cocky blow? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Go, cocky, go, cocky, go, cocky. How do you work this thing? The other end. What? Put, put your lips on it and blow. So 
Oh, you're, you're still here? You're, well, you're, you're, you're like, oh, dude, you're like impaled. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that, that doesn't look... Whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> I did not expect that. You know, that. That does not look comfortable. Oh, please don't do that. If that that breaks, <laughs> yeah. That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> Is anybody else getting turned on by that? Hi, <laughs> Wicked. Can, can I? came up to me this morning, and he said, Oh, hi, Uncle Kathy, how are you? I said, I am fine. And he said, I understand you have a doctorate in chemistry. I said, yes, I do. He said, I am considering going for a doctorate. And we had this nice intellectual conversation back and forth. Okay. So I had to go up to my room because I had forgotten to leave a little tip for my housekeeper. Right. Tip your housekeepers, please. Right? You all did that, right? There you go. You better. So I was going up and I was going to excuse myself and say, I'm just going to step inside and, and leave a tip for the housekeeper. Right. But he kind of walked into my room. Oh, oh, okay, well, you know, at my age you take away, you can get it, right? So I went in, we sat down, and we're having a wonderful intellectual conversation. Two great minds sharing ideas. And then the switch got thrown. And he said, do you know what the Baker Act is? I said, uh, I think so. The Baker Act, for those who don't know, is a, a law in Florida that says, if you are batshit crazy, the police can arrest you. Simple as that. Wow. And he was complaining. He said, the Baker Act is, is really, that's the government, you know, you'll be being totally unfair. I was a victim of that. Wow. And he's in my room. He said, yeah, they came and grabbed me for no reason and locked me up in a cage and started shooting me full of stuff. And I said, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look at the time. You should have out-crazy him. Well, you could have told me out-crazy him. I could him not out-crazy him. He was a professional. <laughs> He's got a Amateur Olympic committee, and this guy comes up, he's like total professional at it. He comes, excuse me. Well, you could have been like, I have Star Trek earworms growing in me right now. He would have shown me his. <laughs> so I said, Look at the time. I have to go downstairs and do the thing that is needed for the place that I have to be. Let's go! So he said, oh, I'll just leave my luggage here. I said, you won't either. Because I um, intend to die this afternoon. So um, I, I won't be here to help you get your luggage. You better take your luggage, because I'll be dead. It yeah. sounds like this, you wish two was here. Oh, uh, if two was here, I would have said two. Talk to this guy. Yeah. And watch them try to out crazy each other. Oh, yeah? yeah? Well, I've got louder voices in my head than you do. Oh, yeah? Then back and forth, back and forth. And, and then the entire audience going, and then the police come, and they just start watching. The voices in my head are on Twitter. <laughs> They're twittering in my head. They're twittering on all the comments. At this point, I wasn't too terribly worried. Right. But I came down here, and I, I walked into this very room where all you nice people are, and I said, oh, I have to go backstage where nobody is allowed except us people who go backstage. And he said, I'm security in this convention. Uh, uh. So he followed me back here. And I'm backstage, back behind this wonderful puppet stage where my wine is sitting, which I'm going to drink right now. Ooh. And he's like following me around. At that moment, God bless his heart, a brother to me, my greatest friend in the world, Gabby Fox, came up and said, Kage, can I talk to you? He's, I said, yes! You may talk to me in private on this extremely important matter, which nobody else can hear, and you must take me away to discuss it. <laughs> And Abby 
took me back through this door and to a little room back there. And I said, what is it? He said, your eyes open. I said, come on. He's stalking me. Get him away. And then he leaned his head in the door. Tiny like beaker. <laughs> so Yappy took me, what we call it, back of the house. That right. area is his staff only, right? right? So Yappy took me outside. Now, all oh, that the Florida heat outside. Yep. And we went outside and in that door. Yeah. But then I hear from security, he was wandering around back of the house looking for me. Oh, yeah. So I was hiding. I, I was like trying to avoid him. And then. I told Bach the story. You all know Bach's former, right? Bach? Yeah, let's hear from Bach. He's a war We've not seen him enough on this show. We need him back. We tried. He's we don't know and he is like my protector. I told him the story. And then I was walking to go back to my room and I heard a voice who was shouting, Yeah, I know. There's insane, that would be me. There you go, 
Megaplex, small but crazy. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Uncle Kagi! <laughs> Thank you so much for being Thank you. We love you. <laughs> oh, so many fun things and, and fun crazy people. As a matter of fact, we have uh, another small special guest we would like to bring out for a quick three or four second appearance, but we need theme music. And we need our audience to provide the theme music. So here we go. Everyone, sing the Nia Cat song on three. One, two, three! We've had a whole two seconds to play this. We're going to do interview Nick Cats. Oh my gosh. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to close Cats. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to interview? Go ahead, boys. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Are you? Hi. Moo. 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 <laughs> well, I'll tell you, he's right over there. You really want me to tell you that? Pop-tarts! Okay. <laughs> hey, Uncle Kagi, he says your stalker is batshit insane. <laughs> and would you like some pills? Yeah. <laughs> Big pills. <laughs> he said thank you for the tequila. Yeah! <laughs> and he likes to have butter rubbed all over him for some reason. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a Yeah. 
If you're an inflatable, don't do helium. Backstage camera back here because you got to see what Yappy is doing to this thing. I don't know who owns this thing, but uh, Yappy's mouth is all over it. You're not gonna want this back. Yappy's head is under the tail. I'm sucking as hard as I can to get all the air out. You're sucking it? What? It's a fox. Of course, his head's gonna be under the tail. Well, Yappy's a fox too. Hey Blitz! Blitz! What? It sounds like the longest, most amazing silent fart I've ever heard in my life. You got hit in the face with a giant paw. It's not the first thing to happen. All right, here. everybody right. needs insanity. Big round of applause for Inflato Inflato Fox. Now being called Deflato Fox. So out of curiosity, whose birthday is it today? Anybody? Yeah. It's Rue's birthday. Rue? Rue is actually having a birthday on today's show. Yeah. Is he here right now? She. She? She. Rue. Alright, please. 
audience, do not turn around. The contestant. All right. Uh oh. There you go. What do you have to do? We are going to find out. And drop.
grandmother used to sing to me when I was very sad. So. My milkshake brings all the glory to me. Would you like some pills? <laughs> <laughs>
Somebody kiss Goldie. I didn't kiss him. <laughs> uh, I'm getting my exercise today. It wasn't a Wookiee. And the Wookiee didn't bring me my four stones. <laughs> Other side of the room. The bronies came back. And everything was 20% cooler. <laughs> With the power of friendship, they say everyone. <laughs> Suddenly, KP's boxers appear. <laughs> Everybody rejoiced. <laughs> there was lots of giggity giggity giggity. <laughs> With the power of race school, there was fur, and then there was chocolate rain. In America! <laughs> then Robocop broke into the building and stole KP's boxes. And the flood came. Whoa. <laughs> the little robot cat showed up. And then your mom. <laughs> then Dennis Quaid appeared. Then the Bronies died again. <laughs> and then King Batman! <laughs> Pass. Yeah. <laughs> Only laughing, everyone. As <laughs> seen on TV. In my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. How many of you have been to, this is your third Megaplex. 
Okay, if this, is, if, you're, if this is your third, go ahead and sit down. How many of you have been to four? Yo! Okay, if you've been to four, have a seat. How many of you have been to five? If the number of, uh, if this is your fifth megaplex, sit down. How many of you have been to six? Woo! If this is your sixth megaplex, sit down. There are a few people standing. How many have been to seven megaplexes? If this is your seventh megaplex, have a seat. How many of you, this is your eighth megaplex? All right. Have a seat. This is your eighth. How many of you, of the people standing, have been to nine megaplexes? If this is your ninth megaplex, have a seat. Of the people remaining, everyone step forward to the front of the room. If you are still standing, step to the front of the room. Come on up here. Come on up. Ladies and gentlemen, the diehards who have been to all ten megaplexes. question to help, you know, tell who the real diehard is. Now we're going to ask one more question. One more question. Everybody in the crowd, this will separate the men from the boys, which will be helpful for the police. Um, anybody who is not Yappy Fox, sit down. The question we're going to ask is, how many people plan to come to Megaplex 11? And out of curiosity of these people, who's been to Furry Spring Break? Yeah! Oh, now we're going back old school. Okay, so these two people. Here's another question. How many? That was an additional question. It doesn't really count. How many people have drank more than Kagi? What's it full of? Yeah. 
Can we use it to get the gear from here back to the storage? <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much. We have our own Monday Paw Pet Show stage truck. Hey, Point, wanna go for a ride? Do it. Sure, let me get my bottle of penis. Whoa. Here, right back. No, no drinking and driving back there. The only driving I do is the information superhighway. But yes, we really, really, a lot of the stuff we do for this guy, we cannot do it without this man here. Yeah, seriously, you have no idea how much this guy has really taken the reins of this stagecoach that is driving out of control. And he's just kicking at speed. I don't have any reins, it's just going. Yep. It's just going, it's going. No, I, I was just back there checking tweets because I'm like looking for things that are bad and good and whatnot. Yep, right. And I see that there is a... I'm hijacking the microphone. I also want to point out, this is the man who invented the current concept of the fursuit parade. Oh, that's right! Of yeah. all of you! Have you ever been in a fursuit parade? Because of this guy right here. Is he right here? Right. And if it weren't for him, you would not be watching a bunch of friends get together and act like complete idiots. On Saturday nights, we'd be coming to conventions. I, I wouldn't have the fursuit um, uh, webpage. You would not have so many things. Good grief. It, it also bears pointing out that Yappy is responsible for one of their major events. He is personally responsible for the low air quality of Orlando, Florida. <laughs> so for all of this, I was spreading cinnamon. So, so, that's only, that's only recently. In the last 10 years, you've been spreading methane. <laughs> so you know what? For all of this, I think we owe this man the famous Funny Paul Pet Salute. Ready on the count of three? One, two, three. Salute! Go! One, two, three. Salute! What, what are we doing? Wait, I was reading the tweets earlier, as I was yeah. saying. Hold on. I, I think month, month, you said something about people bringing laptops to the front row, but I don't see any of them. Oh, yeah, they want yeah, I do see, I do see, oh, it's all iPhones, and I see one laptop. Well, that works too. So, are, are you all in the IRC Paw Pet channel right now? <laughs> People actually chatting in the audience. Hey, EV, do you have a mic over there? Wait, just a second. You guys are chatting in the IRC Paw Pet channel right now? Yes, how funny would that be? You're, you're here! Talk to them! <laughs> That's all. Turn the Just shout out! You got something to say, Jill? Say it right now! Go for it, just yell it out. Stop yelling at me. Yeah, but there are people online that aren't here. They're watching us live right now. Yeah, but why are they online? <laughs> they're talking to the people on channel. Exactly. That aren't here right now. And they're they, talking to each other in the audience. They can turn around that? and talk to people who aren't in channel. It's a little bit of everything. everything. Usually the people that aren't in channel are cops, Katie. No! <laughs> <laughs> so, E.B., what are they saying in channel? What, what, what is the synopsis of what's going on? Hey, hey what's going on? What, hold on, let me, uh, maybe pull up my, what, is EVs going to yes, talk about it? I have a mic in front of me. Okay. Um, yeah, being that they're 45 seconds delayed, uh, let's see what we got here. <laughs> um, let's see, you guys are there, why are you there? And watching. I am so confused, where am I? Uh, let's see, whoa, I just got a blip spam. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks Tony Ringtail for that one. Uh, just get a drink later. Uh -oh. I wish I was there, you can build them forever. <laughs> Uh, he's talking to me on the radio, I can't hear you. Oh, um, but, Speak yeah. up! I fixed that! Uh, I'm trying to get things on the... I'm not going to do that one. I already did that. Um, I'm going to attend that an ice bear someday. I want a shout out. There's your shout out. Uh, I'm trying to do this. Oh, as I want a shout out. Shout out! Get a phone call. And now the uh, channel thing is kicking me. Flooding. That's great. Uh, I'm never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you down. Do it again. Do roll call. How about sourdough? There, it doesn't roll. Uh, Marshall Clark, we need more inflatables. I love all of you. Evie, I want to kick your ass. Um, Evie, say that grandma's here. No, I won't say that grandma's here. Uh, Evie is awesome. Oh, thank you. Uh, more blitz, we need more blitz. No, I think we're good on that. Uh, do a barrel roll? No, nope. I'm not doing roll call because they didn't tell me to. Uh, stop being squeaking short. Yeah, I'm getting so many more platforms. Oh my gosh, we've got a late breaking announcement. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. We just want something out, very important. What's that? 
the person who is keeping everyone safe, sound, and secure. Wolfpack. Oops. It is his birthday today! Yeah. Oh my god! It's birthday! Wolfpack, get up here! Yes, get up here! You're so you Get up here! Come on up! Come here. You know what we now must do? How old are you, Wolfpack? Watch your speaker. 22? Yeah, Come on up here, Wolfpack. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Megaplex Security, Wolfpack. Do not screw with this man. You'll never find your body. I'm the cat three. One, two, three. They say it's your birthday.
I, I accidentally broke the internet yesterday. Oh, no. It was oh, yeah. yeah, the internet stopped working. So, Fuji, I, we, we broke. Oh, you want me to keep the internet? You I'm the god of the internet. Hey, Mud, touch the internet. Touch it! Touch the internet. No, I won't break it. I won't break it. No, 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 you don't want me to do it. Everyone touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. You touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Come on, touch it. All right. I did touch it. Or you wanted to touch the wall. Uh, they want me to touch the internet. They want you me to touch the internet. Mutt to touch the internet. Yes. <laughs> oh, sheesh. I warned you. I warned you. You know what? Apple Genius is coming. Oh, even Mutt can't break the internet. And What's Fuji the, just went, crap, don't drop that! What's the master password for the internet? What's the magic password? The master password. What password! Is password! <laughs> the, password for, the password for the internet is RaffleMau. RaffleMau. Oh, the password is RaffleMau password. One. Thanks, Tim. You know how to change it. Great. Everybody knows the yeah, password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It turned out great anyway. We, are stuff right we could have Blitz rechange it. It would be pause, 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 three. No, because hey, how many pauses to put in it? How many posters do we have left? Uh, I don't know. We have a few. We have a few. But you know what? Especially that, speaking of pulling stuff out of your ass, with the posters, do we have any more games left? Hmm. Oh, I think we can pull some stuff out of our pockets. Oh. Ooh. Nice. So we, we can do the we got. We're going to convert some away. 30 limited edition of Mega, uh, uh, Funny Papa Show posters. That's right. All autographed by us, the staff. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to check your pockets. We're going to ask if anybody has anything on them. If you do, and you can come up to the stage, we'll give you a Puppet Show poster. And it'll be the first one, just in case a few people have one or more. If two people have the same thing, the first one making up the stage wins it. So you got a race. Hopefully you have a good seat. Right. How many posters do we got? Um, like 15 or 20, I think. 15 or 20? Yeah. Oh, we have plenty of okay. Yeah, I'll tell you when we're low. But, uh... All right, well, so... Well, no, we're going to give you an item, and you have to... Oh. You For have to... instance, who has a sock with a hole in it? Oh. Who has Who a happens sock to be, who happens to be wearing a holy sock? It's Sunday. The guy they arrest. Or on the... Uh, just on the front. Oh, oh, somebody's coming up. Do you have a, a hole it in your sock? It might be on your foot. Who knows? Let me see it. Got to take, take your shoe off. Let's see it. I don't oh. know. I don't want to smell it, I just want to see it. Is that close enough? It's getting it. Is it a hole? Is there anybody else that has a bigger hole? Wait. Is there anybody else who has a larger tear in their sock? A hole in a sock. A hole in your sock. Hold on, wait a minute. Chad Kruger wants to see. Oh, Chad Kruger has a bigger hole. Pocky. 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 P -O -C -K. Anybody, anybody carrying any Pocky? The candy of the anime. Somebody's got Pocky, run up here. Come on up. We got some Pocky. <laughs> what? Oh, it's a Pocky box. You got a Pocky box. That works. You got Pocky inside hey. you, so it counts. You got Pocky in you. Did you get a Pocky box? Give yourself full of Pocky. Give it to someone else, yes. Congratulations. Three have years, by the way. All right. Who has. A rubber! Oh, I, <laughs> I hope a lot of people have got one of these. Uh, they use a car? Not that kind of rubber. Is that what they use in cars? In cars? They use rubber in cars? They use rubber Someone's coming up! Someone's coming up! They use I need to see this rubber! They use rubber in yes. But yes. proper rubber. Yes. Who's got a proper rubber? What is this thing called a rubber? You better find out. Oh, well, okay. It's, it's sort of rubber. It's not a prophylactic. It's a rubber case for his phone. <laughs> you you wrap you it up. Right. It's but protecting shame him on you. No. You should all have but, rubbers. But it's protecting his phone from uh, yeah. moisture penetration. So, so he does not get any phone viruses. All right. All right, who has an iPad? An iPad. The next one is... Oh, wait a minute, no, wait a minute, turn it on. We got an iPad. Oh, that's 
not an iPad, that's a robot. I'm just kidding. No, that's an iPad. Oh, there's two people with iPads. Here, I'll give you one too. There you go. All right. All right. Now, looking for some kind of wire. Some kind of wire. Wire. Oh, that's Gabby Fox. You have a winner. Gotta see wire. Oh, we have two people with wire. I'll, I'll give both of you wire. Oh, now everybody's running with wire. Holy uh, crap. The first one up wins. The first one up now, wins. I'll give it to these two, because they had it. All right. They were up here at the time. Five people. Wait a minute. How, why are you carrying a telephone cable? I'm <laughs> <laughs> just looking around the carpet. All right. All right, next one up. Who has a Pac-Man smartphone app? Pac-Man smartphone app. Actually, I do. Let's see it. Turn it on. Turn it on. Gotta see it. Gotta see it. Boot he's it up. up. Boot it up. It looks like he's playing crosswords. This is um, Retro Arcade. We got it. Oh, he's got it. Yes. Yes. Well done. There you go. Leave me like that. All right. All right. <laughs> and next. Let's see. Uh, who has something my little pony? Run to the stage, whoever's got it first! Run! Run! No, don't, 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 don't run, 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 come on up! Something safely walk up! Safely walk up! We have to see your My Little Pony thing. What is this? Oh, it's a ring! I thought, it, it's in the shape of a horseshoe, but I thought it was in the shape of a toilet seat. Alright. Wait a minute, hold on. Uncle Kake came up. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that you're a brony? I just found them. Where? They were protecting They were brony. in my box. <laughs> you have a condom? Alright, so yes. you get a poster. And Uncle Kage, you get, because it was in your box, you get a box. <laughs> Okay. Who has, this is for a very limited edition, makeup parts poster, very valuable. Work. Actually, I got one, bud. I got one, bud. You got one? I got one. All right. Who has anything, if you, not, not these posters, but anything else with the Fun Day Poppet Show logo on it? So, is there anything with the Fun Day Poppet Show? Is there anybody that has anything with the Fun Day Poppet Show on it? I got a in my room. Like I said, other than the posters that we just gave out. That's because we have no merchandise. <laughs> we got to make some. Oh, somebody has to have points butt floss. Got a of the oh, somebody has something. Hey, somebody has a picture of the poster. That works. Somebody has a picture of the poster. Oh no, actually, you have a picture of the uh, the sign back there. Okay, you win. There you go. Can I ask one? I got one. I got one more. Oh, okay. Okay. for my animal dice. You got one. Who has a diaper on? <laughs> Instead of just a poster, you get a night 
with Yappy Fox. Sweet! Congratulations! You're all in animal loser at the same time. And remember, what happens at Megaplex stays at Megaplex. <laughs> and Fox Alright, Blitz, do you have one? Um, <laughs> your dignity. Does anybody else out there have Blitz's dignity? Chapstick! Chapstick! Oh, somebody came over right away! Kiss and butts! Oh, yeah. it. <laughs> that is not chapstick, that's over-the-counter generic lip balm. He has, <laughs> he has real chapstick. <laughs> yeah, I can teach you. Alright. Okay, I got one. We've only got uh, one. Oh, I got one. Are these the last, oh, these one? last two posters. Uh oh, we have how many left? Two. 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 Okay. The question is, who out there, and I know there's going to be a competition for this, who out there is the chairman of Anthrokai? <laughs> you know what? You are the chairman of Anthrokai. You win generic lip balm. <laughs> ah, yay! I love it when a plan comes together. Now because we, have because we know that that's all that Anthrocon pays you is just generic lip balm. What flavor is it? Generic. What flavor is it? It tastes like generic. It's whole green flavor. No, hold on. Hold on. It says point flavored. Point flavored? <laughs> smells like point, so. <laughs> it's extreme. It's extreme. All right, we have two posters left. Okay, here's one. Who out in our audience is wearing? That is all of our posters, Mutt. Alright, so Mutt, that's all the posters. 